Check out my business website too. Hi, I'm Emily. Welcome to this YouTube channel. I am glad you are interested in tech. So am I. Let me teach you. In this demo I show you how Excel Office Scripts is capable of solving any Sudoku puzzle. The power of Office Scripts in cases like this are amazing. Where a human would take hours and even fail to solve a puzzle. Excel will always solve it. Here I will show you the process of confirming that a completed puzzle is valid. Here on the Sudoku worksheet we have cell Z12 with the value valid. That is based on a formula. We can see the arguments of this formula are two cells, Z1 and O12, so let's first look at O12. It is adding up some cells and checking if the total of those cells is 1620. We can see the cells references. They are adding the values in each row and column. Which as you can see adds to 45 for a valid completed row or column. In these 9 separate cells we are checking the total for each 3 by 3 subbox. Again we can see they add up to 45 which is what we would expect for a validly completed puzzle. So, let's now have a look at cell Z1 and see what is happening there. In the formula it is adding the values in the adjoining row and checking if it sums to 9. In cell Q1 we are doing the same checking that the total is 9. In the next cell it is repeating the sum and checking the total is 18. Let's now have a look at the formulas within column Q. We are using a sort function. As this returns an array it spills into the adjacent cells in that row. The argument is the range B2 to J2. The result is that row returned in a sorted order. The result must be the numbers 1 to 9 for the case of a valid puzzle. So, let's see a demo, now, of the solver in action. So, here we have the code pane open, and the grid is ready. So, let's click the macro button. It is slower using the embedded shape button as opposed to clicking the run button, and certainly it is slower upon first running. Subsequent clicks of the macro shape button runs the code much faster. So the macro has finished. So, let's now see if the solution is a valid one. And yes it is. So, let's now have a look at the script. So, to summarize the script I am going to list the functions it is using. So, of course we have the main function. And it is using a function called solve sudoku, a function called is unique, and a function called solve. And a function called is valid placement. So, let's now have a more detailed look at the script itself. First, we have a sequence of variable declarations. First we make reference to the worksheet. Then we create a variable called Sudoku input which is of multi-type boolean string number. It is two-dimensional, and here I set it as empty. Next we create a variable called Sudoku input which obtains the values from the grid in cells B2 to J10. Then we create another array called board input, and again, initially, set it as empty. We are declaring it as two-dimensional number. When we try to use the Sudoku input array the code falls over, for us, when trying to iterate over it. With the number array, we can, however, be sure that the values within it are number, and thus we can perform number-based logic against its values. In the for statement, here, I am taking the values from the Sudoku input array and pushing them into the board input array. I am testing the type of the value first. Where a cell is empty in the worksheet grid we cannot perform mathematical logic against that corresponding array item. It is of the wrong type. Later, we are checking the rows for validity and again the same for the columns. So, after confirming the input grid is valid we then attempt to solve and complete the grid. So, I have created a function called solve sudoku. We are taking, as input, the two-dimensional input array board input. And then the result of the function is output to the worksheet the grid. They are also output to the console. So, in order to solve the puzzle we need to create a helper function. We can see here I have created one called is unique. And then we go on to the solve sudoku function itself. In the solve sudoku function we input, as a parameter, the 2D board and return a solved 2D board array. Within this function we declare another function called solve. 
That function takes, as parameters, a row and column number. It returns a Boolean value true or false. This function calls the isValidPlacement function which iteratively selects a value 0 to 9 that has not already been entered into either the current column or row. Note the solve function calls itself recursively repeating over and over different combinations of input values. Check out my business website too.